last few weeks has been a lot like camping, or some would call it glamping. We've been super busy getting our temporary living quarters set up so we can continue to work and play on the off-grid homestead. Let's take a tour and see what it's looking like. Let's start our tour by going through the front door. As you can see, I'm already busy planting many different types of trees. Through our front door, we arrive at our kitchen. I just installed our custom design sink and it's been nice. The last few weeks we've been washing dishes in a wheelbarrow. I had to build these short walls around the stove to keep the wind from blowing out the fire. And now, well, our kitchen is quite functional. The mild year-round temperatures in Costa Rica makes it easy to live in the great outdoors. And you might can tell, I enjoy cooking healthy meals. But I do believe Rebecca enjoys it even more, especially when I cook her a hard pancake with an egg trim for her birthday. It sure can make a girl smile. Let's head over to the workstations. As you can see, I've laid down a lot of bricks so we can have a floor. This is Rebecca's workstation and where she helps me with keeping the books straight. Around the corner is our living room. And it seems Nikki enjoys her spot next to me at my desk. This is where all the magic happens. But I have to admit, it's hard to sit here when I'd rather be building on the homestead. And our cat Cootie is really adjusting and enjoying the wildlife. After being stuck in that concrete jungle of city living, for the last few months, she's having to find her sea legs, or her tree legs, I guess you would say for cootie cats. But it seems she's finding her way down just fine. And now she's coming to see if she's made Papa proud. When it gets dark out, we have to let down the green screen we're using as a makeshift mosquito net. But when combined with some Centronella candles, this green screen seems to be doing a pretty good job keeping most biting bugs out. With the lights that I've strung up, well, we can still enjoy watching a movie or getting a little work done. As you can see in the background, Costa Rica likes a lot of color. But these cheap plastic drawers make for some good temporary storage until I can build everything we need for the tiny house. But until that day comes, we've got a pretty good setup where we can work, cook, and play. In the background, you can see a black wheelbarrow, and that was our sink until just a few days ago. Yep, it's starting to feel a lot like home. Out the side door, let's head over to the laundry room. On the back side of the barn, I've run water lines for our washing machine and kitchen. 
and it makes for a nice place to get our washing done. Here's our solar shed and tool room you've been watching me build. But most importantly, it's where we can get cleaned up after a long, hard day's work. The only problem has been those cold showers. I have to admit, cold showers are tough, and it makes you really appreciate it when you finally do get hot water. After about two weeks of cold showers, this instant hot water tank was a much needed relief and so much better than the typical suicide showers you see all over Costa Rica. Life on the off-grid homestead sure is getting nice. <laughs>